in histories eroritas gives us a, a, a tip on how to negotiate uh, and it's a very interesting tip and i think uh, if you if you you've uh, studied the art of negotiation is something that is like is one of the pillars of negotiation and he shares it uh, as a story that he gives now this happens whereas uh, the story he gives us is part of him explaining uh, how the Spartans were reacting to Mardonia's uh, attempting to, to conquer the Greeks even after Saxis had, had ran away. Now, at some point, the Spartans seems like were not very confident about the war that was coming from Mardonia's, and they were looking for everything that they needed to prepare themselves for this war. Now, there was this guy whose name was Tisamenus. Tisamenus was not a Spartan. He was from uh, an, uh, he was an Ilian, uh, another tribe called the Ilians. Now, this Amenus, there was a time he had gone to the Oracle and he was trying to to find out why he was not having kids. He was married, but he was not having kids. So he goes to the Oracle to find out why and to see if there is something he can do uh, to so that he can have kids. And the Oracle, in, instead of telling him what he needs to do to have kids, the oracle tells him that you you are going to have five major um, uh, wins, basically, in your life. And he leaves, he's kind of confused, but he thinks that what the oracle meant was that he was going to the Olympics and he was going to have five, um, five major wins. And he start, in fact, he starts practicing some uh, gaming, games, uh, wrestling, and whatever, whatever, running. So, he, because now he has in his in his head that the, the gods have prepared five major wins for him. Now, the Spartans get to know about this, and uh, but the Spartans realize that those wins were not wins of sports; they were wins of war. And they reach out to him and they tell him, "We are interested for you to come and fight on our side." Uh, because we know the gods have declared that you're going to have five major wins. And we we know they are not wins of sport as you think. They are wins of war. And so we think that if we have you on our side, we are going to win wars. So <clears throat> he listens to them. And uh, he, he tells them, uh, I'm willing to come join your side, but on one condition. I want you to make me... A citizen of Sparta. The Spartan listen to these and they are like, no, 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 that's not possible. We are not going to make you a citizen of Sparta. And in fact, they abandoned that. Now, before I continue telling what happened, the story kind of it comes down to this: when negotiating, is better you accept an offer of the person you are negotiating when they are desperate. Don't try to look for that offer when you are the one who is desperate. So if you are desperate, you'll get the terrible, uh, terrible side of the offer of the deal. If the other person is desperate, you are better. You are, you are likely to get a, to get a better part of the deal. So that that's what it comes down down to. So at this point, it is this guy who was desperate to be the citizen of Sparta. Yeah, the Spartans felt like they needed him, but they were not really desperate to have him. Now. When the passions are coming, the, the Spartans become desperate. Now they really, really want him. They go back to him, this this Amenus guy, and they tell him, um, "Now we are, we are, we've, uh, we've, uh, we have, uh, we've agreed to make you a citizen of Sparta." And the guy is like, "Now he realizes these guys are desperate. He's quick to realize that they told me no, they went away." Now they are coming back. And in fact, this is something that has happened to me personally as I do whatever I do for a living. I often negotiate with people and it often comes to mind if I tell somebody this, how much I charge and they go away, they are like, oh, no, no, that's too much. And they go away. And then they come back after a while and they are like, you know what? We are interested in your work. Now I'm thinking these people are desperate for my service. Now I'm, I'm even tempted to, to raise the, the rate a little bit higher because now I know uh, they are desperate. Now, this is what happened. This guy tells them, <clears throat> um, now I'm not interested in being a citizen. I, I also want you to make my brother a citizen of Sparta. And the Greeks are like, but you were told us you just wanted to, you to be, the, 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 to be the, um, the citizen. He's like, um, no, now I want you to make my brother as well. And because the Spartans were so desperate, 
They said yes, they made him a citizen and they also made his brother a citizen. Now, I wrote just that so that this guy learned this trick from somebody else. He learned this trick from a guy who, who went by the name Melampus. Now, Melampus seems like he was a physician. Um, and um, Melampus, one time, the people of Argos were dealing with a problem. Women were becoming sick. They were, they were having this weird um, uh, um, ailment that the people of Argos, Argos was a city and they did not understand what it was. Now they reach out to Melampus who was a physician and they tell Melampus we want you to come and help us uh, uh, cure our, our, our women and he listens to them and he tells them um, I have no problem I'll come and, and, and uh, cure your women but on one condition you are going to give me half of your kingdom. And the people of Argos are like, no way, we can't do that. We can't do that. No, thank you. So Melampus goes his way. But the women continue becoming sick and sick. And some point now, these people are so desperate. And they come back to Melampus and they are like, you know what? We accept. We're going to give you half of our kingdom. And he's like, no, no, no. I'm no longer interested in that offer. Now what I want is you to give me half. And then you give a small other part to my brother. And because these people were just so desperate, uh, they said yes. So it's basically a negotiation uh, tactic that, or, or knowledge maybe, or a tip you want, that most likely many people use it. I've told you I use it myself, or it's knowledge that I have when I'm negotiating with people. If somebody, if I tell somebody this is what I need in return, and they tell me, oh, that you are charging too much, and then they go away, the mistake they will make is to come back and tell me they now accept my rate because now I know they are desperate. On my side, if I tell somebody, no, I'm not going to accept that offer and I go away and then I realize I need it, sometimes I'm so hesitant to come back because now I know I'm desperate and they might now do whatever they want to do because now they can even say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not available, I'll charge you even more than what I had told you before because now they have their upper hand yeah so that's a negotiating um uh, i don't know what to call it maybe knowledge that erodita shares with us in histories through this story